It's the long, slender, vibrating device that frightens hipsters. The buzzing motor and unmistakable design allow men to look their best at home or on the go. But how do we get from using a sharp blade to a sophisticated electronic device to shave away that five o'clock shadow? Put down that shaving cream and water stuffers because this is the history of the shaving razor. Since the dawn of civilization, humans have been taming that bothersome facial hair. Early means of trimming beards involved clamshells, daggers, and even copper and bronze razors. In ancient Egypt, shaving reflected the highest social status. Keeping a clean face was synonymous with being respectable. Alexander the Great, known for his trim stubble, is even thought to have brought the practice of shaving to the Greeks around 300 BC. In ancient Rome, shaving was an integral part of society for both men and women. Romans would use tools such as this to remain hairless. The single large blade method was used for centuries before reaching that razor design we know today. Jump to the 19th century. Facial hair was quite the fashion statement. And while some sported a burly beard or wild facial landscape, others would lather up and use the straight edge blade sharpened against a leather strap. In 1895, King Gillette invented the disposable razor, allowing men to forego those frightening blades. Gillette also made a breakthrough when he contracted with the US government in World War I and sent disposable razors to over 3.5 million soldiers to keep them clean shaved on the front lines. A boy has more self-respect when he's clean shaved. I tell him to use a Gillette razor, Al. As electricity became more prominent as a power source, John F. O'Rourke filed the first patent for an electronic shaving device in 1898. Although O'Rourke didn't make much of his device or his patent, 32 years later, Jacob Schick would file another patent for another shaving device he allegedly dreamed up while sidelined by a bad case of dysentery. Schick's early plans for the device were bulky and cumbersome, but the later versions slowly sold enough for him to open a factory. Schick's razors would cut men's five o'clock shadows for years to come and usher in a new wave of patents and designs for other types of electric shavers. Just one shave with this new Schick three-speed and you'll never be satisfied with any other razor, blade or electric. New Schick three-speed with adjustable head. Makes a terrific gift too. For example, the Philips electric razor designed by Alexander Horowitz was the first to use the concept of the revolving razor. This design had a shaving head consisting of cutters that trimmed the hair entering the head of the razor at skin level. In 1981, Norelco took over control of the operations at Schick. And we all know Norelco from its iconic holiday ad campaigns featuring Santa Claus writing down a razor head like it was a sled down a hill. Christmas is a time for closeness, and closeness is what Norelco razors are all about. For close shaves, there's no action like twin action. The twin action Norelco Rotatract razor, cord and rechargeable. The ladybug shave legs and underarms, Norelco clean, Norelco close. The Ladybug Salon is a Ladybug razor plus 11 grooming attachments. Norelco. Even our name says Merry Christmas. Electric razors and wet razors kept evolving over time. Rechargeable batteries allowed men to use dry shavers anywhere. And that included trips overseas where men could keep away that unwanted facial hair while on a business excursion. Multiple shaver heads, foils, and even spinning blades promised closer shaves. Shaving was getting quicker and more efficient. And while men were getting more advanced with their shaving regime, another device came on the market specifically aimed at ladies. The Epilady burst onto the scene in 1986 to remove unwanted leg hair. Starting at a whopping 139 US dollars, the device 
pulled hair out by the roots, which allowed leg shaving to be less frequent. Today, the original method of shaving with a single blade, foam, and leather strap is considered more of a nostalgic art. While some will argue there's nothing closer than a straight razor shave, barber shops and specialty stores are the only ones now catering to that single blade method, which has become more of an experience than an actual efficient means of shaving. So we don't know for sure what will be the next technological advancement in shaving. But we know as long as people want to keep down the friction while kissing, there'll always be an electric device to keep away the hair. Oh, why don't you shave?